Hey guys, it's Jamin here, back out again on the track filming. This is episode 21 of our season, so let's get into this video today. I want to do a few things with you guys. First, I want to hatch some opal dragons. Then after that, I want to go into the rest and do some stuff. And we won't be able to upgrade Kairos today, sadly, since we don't have enough. I believe we are quite a bit away. I also want to get a dragon that I'm missing, the final dragon. So this is going to be pretty exciting. I'm only missing one dragon in the entire game right now. It is actually the Break Bra Dragon, if I'm not mistaken. Let me go check the spooky area. Yeah, I'm only missing the Break Bra Dragon from the event. So we're going to get that in today's episode. And we can also activate Kairos' ability. You can see I'm not even close to upgrading him again to his max level. But hopefully by episode 24, we'll be able to do so. But yeah, let's get into this video for today. And we'll also be able to do the racetrack too. So first thing first, we're going to actually go into the festival and go get our prize. We're going to get this creepy dragon or... The break bread dragon. I just meant to say the creepy section, but I miss said that. My bad, guys. This dragon produces nine gold per minute. It's a fire, plant, and earth and lightning dragon. It takes 12 hours of incubation. And it's also breedable in a co-op breeding cave. No other way. And it takes 4,995 in order to get. So we actually have 7,000. So we're going to set that down right here in this habitat. And I'm going to show you guys its young form. Team form, and finally adult form for today. I'm pretty excited for this, too. So I did update the banner on the YouTube channel, which is pretty cool. It actually looks really nice. I updated it since the old one was um, a little bit gloomy, so I brightened it up some. And hopefully you guys enjoy the new banner, too. So, yeah. And we'll hopefully be doing some more gameplay or more different kinds of games later on in the future, but we'll have to see. But I've written down all the games during that last live stream of what games you suggest. You suggest a Dragon Vale City. Um, not Dragon Vale City, but Dragon City. And a bunch of other games. I've got a bunch of other games recommended too. Uh, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to do this. So I'm going to show you guys it's young form, teen form, and finally adult form. So let's get into this video today. So this is what it's going to look like at level 4 for its teen form. Right here. Pretty scary little dude. He's got those greenish eyes. That'll scare the lights out if you have your dark in the room and his eyes glow. Uh, he's got some pretty cool animations. He has his face behind wings. That's pretty cool. He also does this little scary growl. Now let's take him to level... Eight for his next form. So this way it's gonna look like a little eight. He gets slightly bigger. He gets some sharp razor fangs or razor claws also, and produces four four not four thousand but four hundred not four hundred forty eight gold per minute. And also fire plant lightning and it is twelve hours incubation. Normal breeding odds. So slightly better, not too great, but it's okay. Now let's take him to level fifteen real quick. Okay. So at level 15, he has slightly better breeding odds, 12-hour incubation, 87 gold a minute, and yeah, same elements. And pretty exciting little dude, too. So now, we have all the dragons in Dragon Veil again. Isn't that awesome, guys? Woo! Yeah. Now that we got all the dragons, the next thing is to wait until they release a new dragon, then I'm going to do a breeding hint video on how to get that dragon. So later on next week, they probably will release a new dragon, which will be pretty exciting to get. Or maybe later on this week, we'll have to see, though. It could be Sunday, we'll have to see, though. Also be joining a Dragonville mini episode, not Dragonville mini, but Dragonville world episode, tomorrow at 12 a.m. So hopefully you guys will stay tuned to that. And yeah. So now that we got all the dragons, the only thing we do is now sit down and wait until we get more dragons. But until then, let's actually go into the racetrack and go into the rest. I'm actually going to try to breed a Rift Air Dragon. I want to see if it's possible. Since it's possible to breed an Air Dragon, I was wondering, can you breed... A Rift Air Dragon with a Fire Rift and also Water Rift. So I was going to test that in a later video. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that, that would be great. But yeah, I'll be doing a video dedicated on how to breed a uh, Air Rift Dragon if it is at all as possible. We'll have to see though. Next, let's hatch these Opal Dragons we actually have right here. So it's pretty exciting. We got 100 Rift Crystals from over there. And we got some food. So we got two Opal Dragons. I'm going to hatch my 7th one and place that right on in here. And then I'm also going to hatch my 8th one over here too. So now we'll have 8 opal dragons in the game. And I probably need to get some more habitats for these little guys. We can also get an extra habitat too in this episode. Which will be pretty exciting. Let me collect my dragon from the Coliseum also. So we just won 5 gems. Now let's place our air dragon on in here. There we go. We got our air dragon going on here. The win. Now let's go roll the dice. And see if I can level up my current dragon to max level. That'd be possible. If that would be at all possible. That'd be great. But we'll have to see though. 
So we got 13, that's 25,000 food, so no, not there. Come on, Bahamut. Give us the power of leveling up. Let's go. Uh, No, we got a nine, I think. Wait, did it not land? Oh, yeah, land. We got a nine, guys, so that's 10,000 food. We also got some gold to collect, too, so we're going to collect that real quick. Some gems and stuff like that. Now, let's get that extra habitat, too, since we're here. I also want to get the pedestals this video, if at all possible. They are doing a special deal on Dragonvale World. For uh, $10, you can get 1,000 gems. So I did the math. That's actually way better. That's 69% off. So I actually got myself one of those. So I got myself 1,000 gems on Dragonvale World. Since they're having a big deal. So I'm like, oh, this is a big deal. So I did the math. I'm like, so if you get three of these, that would equal $100 worth of gems. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should just get one of them. And be, yeah. And I actually got the Scorpio Dragon with that. So now I have the Scorpio Dragon in Dragonvale World, which would be pretty cool. I'll talk about it in Dragonvale World. Episode uh, 10, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, that'd be pretty exciting to do with you guys. Uh, hopefully, we can find some more games to do. I actually wrote down all the games during that live stream, so that's going to be pretty awesome. But let's go into some marker real quick and get that habitat. Now, let's get our extra habitat. Our 12th extra habitat. Click this. And let's pick a habitat. Which habitat we don't have on here? We have fire, cold, plant, earth, lightning, dark. Now, we just need a light. So, let's go back in here and go get a light habitat the size of a giant. Let's get ourselves a giant light habitat and then set that down right over here. That seems good. Perfect. Now we got ourselves a giant light habitat. That's awesome. And now we're going to go get some pedestals from the market since we have extra candy corn we got to use. So I'm going to go get some stuff in the market also. And then we got to go in the rift and collect some stuff. If there's any stuff to collect. No, we don't have any stuff to collect in the rift right now. But we could try to breed a dragon real quick and see if we can test that air theory. Um, No, we don't have enough. We are missing 400, so sadly we can't do that. Okay, whatever. Uh, we'll go in here and try to guess the dragon for today. Let's play Guess the Dragon! So what is this dragon? This is actually the Feast Dragon. Next dragon is actually the Twinkle Dragon. And this is actually not Garnet. Lotus, I think. Mm, no, Lance. Definitely Lance. And we also got the... What is this dragon? Also, we got this Egg of Mystery. Not the Egg of Mystery, but we got the Spooky Egg from the event. So we'll have that too in this episode. That would be pretty cool. So yeah. I think it's this one. No, I got the wrong one. That was a sil bronze Olympus. Bronze snowy Olympus. My bad. Permafrost. Then we also got an Ouroboros. And after that, we got the Dazzling Dragon. Finally, the... What is it? Lumios Dragon. And then we got Lava. And finally, we got... Mm, Mon Moonstruck. Yeah, there we go. So we got 9 out of 10 of those correct. So that's not too bad. And we got to collect some of this stuff over here and place a new dragon on into our breeding cave. And let me collect this and try to get amber. I'm having a hard time getting some more ambers. Maybe I got the max amount in the game, but I highly doubt that since you can get unlimited amount of dragons. No, nope, there we go. We got one. Dig of the devil. Okay, um, let's actually hash that since we're doing this today. So let me go clear off some space real quick for you guys. And then you can see a amber dragon. So I'm pretty excited. I can't believe we got an amber dragon right there. It's surprising this day at least. So yeah, we got ourselves an Amber Dragon, we're gonna hash that. I actually sold one during my live stream, which was uh, kind of a set on my part, but honestly, I got another one right here, so that's pretty great. I love the egg, the egg is amazing. Also, by the way, if you guys do watch anime, I highly recommend you watch uh, Black Clover. It's a really good anime, I just recently watched all four episodes that just came out, and if you guys haven't seen anime or you don't know what anime is, um, you're kind of missing out here. So I would say, you guys, go check out Black Clover. It's actually a really good one. But now let's actually... Go into our next subject. We are going into the racetrack for a little bit. But first, we actually have to load up our social area in order to get our spooky egg of mystery. So let me go in here. This is going to take a little bit to load, guys, because of the fact that my game's a little bit slow and I have a lot of content on it. And we also collected all the dragons, so that's going to make up some major time, too. So I'm going to talk to you guys when we're doing this. So while my game is loading, I'm going to talk to you guys about my plans for next Dragonville Mini. So during Dragonville Mini episode 23, I want to see if there's more dragons we can hatch or get or obtain in the game. Also have some more gemstone that at all possible. Try to upgrade Kairos, which would be great if we could do so. And do a few other things. Maybe breed an air dragon in the rest of the let's see. I want to do a separate video on that, but if we can't do that, I would be in, in very... It'd be weird if you can breed air dragon, but you can't breed air rift. Since you can breed air dragon with a fire dragon and also a water dragon. So it'd be kind of weird if you can't breed an air rift with a fire rift and a water rift. So it'd kind of be kind of strange if you can't do that. Am I right? 
that if it is possible, would make us so much easier in our lives and make it easier for us to obtain the Arrow Dragon too. So if my game ever load in a million years, we could actually do this, which would be great. So yeah. After this, I'm going to probably go on a grind on Dragonville World and try to get some more dragons. Yeah. Whew, I accidentally sold a solar dragon in Dragonville World, and that was like the only solar dragon I actually had, so that kind of stinked, so I had to get another one and level it up back to 15. I got a really... That was on accident. It was funny. When I sold it, I was like, oh, man, I'm like... That was the only solar dragon I had, too. So when I sold that, I was kind of really disappointed. You guys get me when you sell that one dragon you worked so hard to get, and you're like, ah, you missed click the button? It's a really big disappointment to you guys, too, and it's a big man on my side as well. But yeah. I also saw a bunch of Facebook posts on uh, Dragon Mail recently. All of them look really great. I saw a few people actually decorate the islands. I'm actually going to do a decorating island video, how I decorate my islands and stuff like that. If you guys want to stay tuned for that sometime in the future. But yeah, I'll have to see. If my game does load... Or will load. That'd be great. So, yeah. Also, if you guys do want to suggest some games for me to play, you can do that in the comment section if you want to. Just go down there and do so. But, yeah. I'll check into them, and we're going to see what we're going to do. Oh, I think we're going to stick to Dragon Veil for a little while until we get set up. Because I need to set up more things before we do anything else. So, hopefully my game does load. If it doesn't load, I'm probably just going to end the video for today. There we go, now loaded. Silly old game. I got something in my voice. Sorry about that, guys. Um, Let's see, we got ourselves an egg mystery. The spooky community... No, the community event reward. Let's see what we get this. We're gonna... So, right here, this is an egg mystery, or the egg mystery of the event. The spooky egg mystery, and we're gonna hatch this right now and see what we get. We got a... Noster... No, no. Nost... Per... Uh, to dragon. We got a Nostra for a dragon. That's actually not too bad. We're actually just going to keep that right there. Okay, so yeah, we got that. That's pretty awesome. I'm actually going to hatch that real quick and show you guys it's young form, teen form, and adult form. And then we're going to head on out for today. So there you go. This is young form. Pretty cute little dude. So let's level this guy up to level 4. Then I'll just take this guy to level 9 or level 8. There we go. And now let's take him to level 15. And I'll tell you how much it produces also. So at level 15, he will produce 1,000, not 1,000, but 120 gold per minute. And also cold earth and also slightly better breeding odds. 13 hours incubation. This dragon is breedable. All the breed is like earth, cold, and also fire traits in the breeding area. You do not need only breeding in the cold. Breeding cave, you can also breed this anywhere else. So let me show you the breeding hint for over here too. I can show you guys the breeding hint since we're here. Before I head on out. So let me go down here. Let me go to fire, earth, cold. And you can see this dragon. You need the breed of this dragon. Oh, I'm going to read the breeding hint to you guys. The breeding pair of dragons must contain fire, earth, and also cold elements. The breeding pair must be between 7 p.m. and also 7 a.m. That is a highly requirement thing. You're going to need 7 p.m. for 7 a.m. So I'm going to give you guys a few seconds to look on this, and then we're going to head on out for today. Yeah, I think that's good. But yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to stay tuned for more. And also, don't forget, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, you guys are the best. G-Man, out. Well, if you guys did enjoy this video today, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. And don't forget, you guys are always the best. But until then, I'll see you next time in the next video. G-Man, out.